Hello, Assalamualaikum. Uh, in this video, I am going to discuss this important situations that you can see on the screen that appears uh, appeared many times in the past papers in different shapes. So uh, let's do this situation. What is this situation? You can see in the diagram where uh, a uniform rod XY, this is a uniform rod, that is represented by x, y of weight 10 Newton is freely hinged to a wall at point x. It is held horizontal by a force f acting from point y. That force you can see is making an angle of 30 degree to the horizontal. So we have to find f in this situation. What we had to find in different situation, I will explain. But first, let's do this question, this part. As this is an equilibrium that shows the net force on this uniform rod must be zero and net moment on this uniform rod must be zero at any point. So many students tried to did that mistake that they use only first condition of equilibrium. What they did, they resolved this force this has one component uh, that is perpendicular. This is F sine of 30. The other component is horizontal. And this is F cos of 30. So they just equated F sine 30 to the downward force. And they obtained incorrect value of F. Why we can't use this? What is the problem using in this situation? You know, there are not only these two forces, F and 10 Newton. If there are only two forces, then equilibrium is only possible when these forces act in opposite direction to each other. And the line of action pass through a single point. But in this case, if we consider only F and 10 Newton, then equilibrium of this rod is not possible. That shows there must be a third force acting at this point. Okay, so what should be the direction of the third force? In one exam situation, they asked to draw the, that third force, the direction of this third force. We know the equilibrium of under three forces the case of equilibrium under three forces is that they form a closed triangle and they all pass through a single point. So that means this will ensure both condition of equilibrium. If we extend line of action of these two forces, they meet at this point. So they it shows the force acting at this point should be in the direction that it must pass through that point. If we had to draw this force, this force must act in, act in this direction so that all of these three forces have one common point that will ensure that their resultant moment at any point must be zero. And the second, the second case is if we, if we form a closed triangle of these three forces, Let's, this is this 10 Newton force and this F is acting in this direction. Then this force must act in this direction so that they form a closed triangle. When there are only three forces and the object is in equilibrium, then they must form a closed triangle if we add them using head to tail rule. That closed triangle ensures that there is no resultant force. If these three forces are like in this case, this, that, and third force is like this, then the resultant is not zero. And this is the resultant of these three forces. But if, if the object is in equilibrium, then the resultant force must be zero and these three forces must form a closed triangle. So in one pass paper situation, they uh, they asked to figure out this force. There were what is the direction of this force 
So there are these three possibilities. A, B is like this, C, and D. So we had to uh, select one option that is the direction of force at this point. So A is the right option for this. So, but in this case, we have to find this force F. So we don't know about this force. What is the magnitude of this force? Hence, we will take this point as a pivot and we will take moment about this point due to which the moment due to this force will be zero as we don't know about this force. So we take moment about points X to find this F. Okay, one other problem is that the length of rod is not given. And we don't need that length because the rod is uniform. And if we consider this length as L, then this length must be L by 2. The weight should act at the center of this rod. And if we take moment about point X, that L will cancel out. So the moment about point X is the total moment must be zero. This 10 Newton force is, is producing moment in the clockwise direction. And this force is producing moment in the anti-clockwise direction. We are two possibilities. Either we can resolve this F to find the moment or we can use uh, this force and this shortest distance that is all mentioned by this dotted line. So what I did, I resolved this force. I obtained two component of this force. One is this and other is that. And this F cos theta is passing through the pivot. So that's why it has no perpendicular distance. So the moment of this F cos theta would be zero and moment of this 10 will be 10 multiplied by the shortest distance from this pivot to the line of action of force, which is L by 2. This is clockwise moment and anti-clockwise moment is produced by this F, which is F sin theta, F sin 30 multiplied by the distance of this force F, line of action of this force from this point is L. So I use this L over here. This, these two L will cancel out. So there is no need to, uh, to know this L. Okay, so this side will give you 5 and F sine of, sine of 30. Sine of 30 is, what is sine of 30? It's 1 by 2. So 5 equal to F sine 30. So F is 10. Okay, so this is correct option. So many student result in the fall answer, uh, false answer by equating F sine theta equal to 10. So that will give you 20 answer. That is also mentioned in the exam uh, in the option. So that's why be careful about this. Don't try to use first condition of the moment if you don't know all the forces. Okay, so if you are given this force F, then you could have used first condition of moment by just taking all the vertical forces equal to the, um, the resultant of all the vertical forces should be zero and the resultant of all the horizontal forces must be zero. So over here, we had to find this, uh, this force F, but in different situation, we are supposed to find this force, this angle theta, and the, we had to find this force uh, F acting at this point as well. So let's move to the second condition, second, uh, second question. That appeared in 2023. Two parts of the ceiling boat are the, the mast and the boom. You can see the mass is vertical rigid beam and the boom is horizontal rigid beam. One end of the boom is attached to the mast by pivot. 
The other end of the boom is connected to the mast by rope as shown in the figure. The rope is at an angle of 40 to the horizontal and exerts tension this. The weight of this is this. The mass of this uniformly distributed along its length. The boom is in equilibrium. What is the magnitude of tension? Now you can solve it easily. I have told you the whole concept that you have to take moment about this point. So moment at this point by this force 200 will be 200 time L by 2. This is L by 2 and this whole length is L. Must be equal to T sin 40. Please draw its component of T at this point. Don't try to draw this vertical component at this point. Then your this distance will be incorrect. So many students do this mistake. Is equal to T sin 40 time L. So this is 100 equal to T sin 40. 100 by T sin 40, sorry, 100 by sin 40 is equal to T. That you can find using your calculator, the correct option. What if we have to draw the force acting on this pivot? The force, these two forces intersect at this point. So the force at this point must be in this direction. What if we have to find this force? How can we find this force? And this angle theta. This is an interesting question. You can think about this. Then we can take first condition of, we can use first condition of equilibrium. This T sin theta, we have already obtained T by taking moment at this point. So we know T and the vertical component of this force, which is F sin theta, they are acting in upward direction. They must be equal to 200 Newton. This is first equation. And the second equation is horizontal component of this T is T sin 40. And horizontal component of this F is F cos theta. So there are only two horizontal forces. There is no other horizontal component so we will equate these two, T sin 40 is equal to F cos theta. So we have these two equations, F sin theta equal to some constant, 200 minus this, we know this value. So that is equal to some number. And the, the other, equation is f cos theta equal to some other number which is f t sin 40. So using these two equation f sin theta equal to that number f cos theta equal to this we will divide this equation f sin theta divided by f cos theta that will give us the value of theta sin theta or cos theta is tan theta so we will get theta from here, then we will put this theta over here in any of these two equations to get F. This is how we can find this force F. Okay. So I hope you got the whole idea. Thank you so much.